hi students now we are going to see example 1.7 or 120 plus 51 and 51 plus 120 equal now we have to find by using the property now we can answer no no 120 plus 51 and 51 plus 120 now we can name as a f plus and b now we have given name for 120 as a right now 51 as b now you have to write this operation with this addition now while seeing this we can clearly come for an conclusion that it is a commutative property now so now commutative property means a plus b equal to b plus a so 120 Plus fifty one. First, we have to add this. That is one twenty plus fifty one means to add so one seven one. Here we can write it as one seven one. Next, we are going to take this side. This is fifty one plus one twenty. Add it fifty one plus one twenty. So one seven one. So one seven one. When we add the both sides, we are getting. It is a plus b equal to b plus a format. That is one seven one equal to one seven one. So both the sides are equal, and it it is come under the property commutative property. Now next question: R minus five plus minus four plus minus three and minus five plus minus four plus minus three are equal. Now we have to find it. Now here it is. Three numbers they are given, so minus five plus bracket minus four plus minus three, and minus five plus minus four plus minus three. In this, we have to see the square bracket first. So we can name it so a, a b, a c. Likewise, we have to name it as a b. See now we have to give the brackets here here and the up operations. So here plus we have to give the. So now while seeing this, we can clearly say that it is a associative property. So it has the condition that a plus b plus c equal to. A plus B plus C. Now we have to write in this format. That is minus five plus minus four plus minus three equal to minus five plus minus four plus minus three. Now first we can take this side. Now minus five plus minus four. Plus minus three. In this, we have to see the square bracket first. So in square bracket, you can see that minus plus. So as usual, you have to use the rule minus into plus equal to minus. Now here it will change it as minus. So minus into minus equal to plus. So minus into minus equal to plus. So we have to add these two numbers. Now we have to write this number as it is. Then addition symbol. Now then we have to compare the biggest number symbol. So while comparing four and three, the biggest number is four. So in before there is so minus symbol. So you have to write the symbol as minus. Then you have to add four three. So four plus three is seven. So the answer will be seven. Then as usual, you have to add these two numbers. So now the same for this also minus into plus. So minus into plus it is minus. So minus into minus it is plus. We have to add these two numbers. Now first we have to compare the numbers whether which is bigger. We have to write the symbol. Now here seven is the biggest number, so we have to write the symbol of seven that is minus. Then we have to add it. So seven plus five. So seven plus five is twelve. So minus. Well, is the answer for one side of the associative property. Then we have to take the next side, that is this side. That is, you have to put the bracket 
minus plus minus 4 plus minus 3 equal to so first here also we have to see the square bracket first so while seeing this we have to see the this part so as usual minus into plus minus minus into minus plus so we have to add these two number likewise we have to see the biggest number symbol so while seeing this 5 4 while comparing 5 and 4 5 is the biggest number the biggest number symbol is minus so while adding 5 plus 4 it is 9 so answer is minus 9 plus we have to write the remaining number so next we have to see minus into plus minus minus into minus it is plus so we have to add these two numbers so then we have to compare the biggest number symbol that is minus there is 9 is the biggest number so before that there is minus symbol so we have to write minus symbol so 9 plus 3 we add it that is 12 so that is 12 so see we have to compare these two sides that is these two sides when we compare we will get the same answer so they are both the sides are equal So now example 1.8, find the missing integer. First one, 0 plus minus 2, 3, 4, 5 is equal to. Now as usual, we have to see that plus into minus, that is plus into minus equal to minus. So we have to change the symbol here, 0 minus 2, 3, 4, 5 is equal to. When you add or subtract anything with 0, the number which is subtracted or added with the 0 will be your answer so minus 2 3 4 5 will be the answer now next one second one 2 3 4 7 9 plus dash equal to 0 we have to get the value as 0 so when the same number is subtracted with the number is equal will give the answer 0 for example we can use the property I additive inverse property so what is additive inverse property means a plus minus of a equal to 0 or minus a plus a equal to 0 that is the property given for additive inverse so now we can take a here and we can ch here change it as minus a here. So a is equal to 2, 3, 4, 7, 9 means then minus a equal to minus 2, 3, 4, 7, 9. Now change it as a plus b. So a plus of a minus equal to 2, 3, 4, 7, 9 plus into minus 2, 3, 4, 7, 9 equal to 0. Therefore, it is in the order. So, 2, 3, 4, 7, 9 plus minus here minus 2, 3, 4, 7, 9 equal to 0. We can calculate it and see. So, 2, 3, 4, 7, 9 as usual plus into minus that is plus into minus that is minus. So, subtraction of 2, 3, 4, 7, 9. Subtract is 0, 0, 0, 0 and 0. So, our answer is correct. So, next one. Example. Example 1.9. Mention the property for the following equations. Now, first we can see. First one. Minus 45 plus minus 12 equal to minus 57. Now, see. We can name it as A. Then, plus B equal to the answer so simply a plus b means it it will come under the closure property then here here it is two number that is we can name it as a and b now this side also that is minus 15 so here minus 15 can be named as a and 7 can be named as b so we have to write the operations here so a plus b equal to b plus a the property name is commutative property
Now next, that is third one. Minus 10 plus 3 as usual, that is A and then B. So what is the name of a property means? Closure. That is closure property. Next, it is two digit number. Two digit, that is A minus 7 plus minus 5 equal to minus 5 plus minus 7. That is here A, B. Then minus 7 is A here. Minus 5 is B. So operation then equal to so a plus b equal to b plus a the answer will be commutative property next it is a three digit value that is minus 7 plus minus 4 plus minus 3 equal to minus 7 plus minus 4 plus minus 3 so we can name this a b c here also a b c we have to put the brackets and the addition operation here so a plus b plus c equal to a plus b plus c so it will come under the property associative Now, 0 plus of minus 7, 2, 4, 5 equal to minus 7, 2, 4, 5. So, here we can name it as 0 is the identity element. So, 0 plus minus of A equal to A. That is, we can write it as the 0 is the identity element of addition. So, additive identity Now next we are going to see the exercise, exercise 1.1, first one fill in the blanks. So minus 30 plus dash is equal to 60. First we can change the symbol, so minus 30 plus instead of dash we can name it as A or some other alphabetical letter is equal to 60. So we have to change the number minus 30 this side after the equation symbol that is a equal to 60 when there is subtraction symbol when it turns this side it will turn it as addition symbol plus 30 then keep a as it is 60 plus 30 add it it will be 90 so 90 the answer will be here the answer will be 90 that's all we can use it in very simple manner next minus 52 plus minus 52 so now as usual minus into plus minus minus into minus plus then we have to compare the biggest numbers symbol so whether it is both the numbers are same we can write the same symbol that is minus now we have to add it so 52 plus 52 plus so 4 10 so 1 not 4 will be the answer so next third one minus plus minus 70 equal to 70 as usual we, what we did in the first one we can give our name for this dash that is a plus minus 70 equal to 70 so now we have to change this into this side so keep a as it is when there is a fraction symbol it will go as addition symbol 70 so we have to add 70 plus 70 now 0, 7 plus 7, 14. So the answer is A equal to 140. So we can write it here. Now next one, 75 plus minus 25. Now plus into minus, minus. So 75 minus 25. Now see the biggest number symbol that is 75, 25. So 75 is the biggest number. So, biggest number symbol is plus. So, we can write it as plus. Now, 75 minus 25 subtracted. Now, 5, 5, 0. 7 minus 2, 5. So, the answer will be 50. Here, we can write it simply as 50. So, here, 50. Next, fifth one. It is very simple to answer. Now, we can suddenly answer which is a property 
as given here it is associated property first name it a b and c here also name it as a b and b and c now what is the number left here it is a so what is a here it is minus 3 so the answer will be here is minus 3 that's all very simple this question will come under associative property so we can name it as a b c and we can name it a b and c so first a a means minus 3 so the value left here is a so the answer is minus 3 so here also the same thing has applied the this the three numbers are given so this is associative property we can name it a b c here also a b c now they have given the value for a so the answer will be here minus 42 for b this side they have given the answer that is 15 we can write it here also then for c they have given that is minus 23 that's all very simple by using associative property we can name the answers very easily next minus 5 dash minus 100 as usual we have done in before sums that is minus 5 we can make give a name for this dash as a and minus 100 when we change this minus 5 this side it will turn as addition so a equal to minus 100 plus 5 now we have to see the symbols minus into plus minus so we have to compare the biggest value symbol that is 100 so minus so 100 minus 5 subtracted answer will be 95 so here 95 so minus 95 that's all next 8 1 8 1 is minus sorry dash plus minus 22 equal to 0 so dash plus minus 22 equal to 0 it will come under the inverse property so very simple we can a plus minus a equal to 0 so here it is minus a here it is 0 so a means 22 very simple by using the property we can easily answer this question next here so 20 plus 80 plus dash equal to 0 so first we have to add these two numbers so 80 plus 20 added this 100 right so 100 plus dash equal to 0 now see this will come under the additive inverse property now this from this line it will come under the additive inverse property so a plus minus a equal to 0 so a is 100 means then minus a is minus 100 that's also answer will be minus 100 then 117 plus 1 dash equal to 0 the same thing will be given here that is additive inverse property so a plus minus of a equal to 0 so a is 117 means so minus a equal to minus 171 so the answer would be minus 171 then now then say true or false so first one the additive inverse of minus 32 is minus 32 so by checking that the additive inverse of a is minus a now if we take it as a a means the answer should be in plus but they have given in the subtraction symbol so it is false now next second one minus 90 plus minus 30 equal to 60 so now we can verify it and see so minus into plus minus minus into minus plus so compare the biggest number symbol that is 90 that is minus so we have to add a 90 and 30 so 90 and 30 it is 0 and you know it is 120 so this minus 120 equal to 60 so it is both are not equal so it is false now next one minus 125 plus 125 so minus into plus minus the biggest number symbol is minus so we have to subtract 125 then 25 so 0 0 1 
so here it is under equal to it is 100 so it is true so next one third one are the following first question 8 and minus 12 using number line so first we have to draw the number line from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 next minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 now we can write it as 8 plus of minus 12 so now first we have to move 8 units so first one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 units. Then we have to move in the same direction till 12. So, there is minus 12 means backward you have to move it. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, you will stand here. So 12 units. So the answer will be minus 4. That is 8 plus that is 8 plus minus 12 equal to minus 4. So now the next question is minus 3 and minus 5 using number line. So first we have to draw the number line from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8. Now we have to move the unit first to first. We can write it minus 5. So first we have to move minus 3 units. So 1, 2, then 3 units. So minus 3 units. Next on the same direction, minus 5 units. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you will stand here for this 5 units. So the answer will be minus 3 plus minus 5 equal to minus 8. Next question. So it, this is simply adding the numbers. So minus 100 plus minus 10. They didn't give anything that you have to use number line. So we can directly give the answer. There is so minus 100 plus minus 10. So now first we have to see the symbols minus into plus minus minus into minus plus. So we have to add it. So first then we have to compare the biggest number that is 100. We have to write the symbol. Then we have to add it 100 plus 10. So 110. So the answer will be minus 110. Next to fourth question 20 plus minus 72. Then plus plus into minus that is minus. So 20 minus 72. So we have to subtract it. So 20, 72. Then first we have to compare the biggest number symbol. That is when comparing 20, 72. 72 is the biggest number. So we have to write the subtraction symbol. Then we can subtract it. 2 minus 0 that is 2. 7 minus 2 is 5. So the answer will be 50. So that is minus 52. Next question that is 82 plus minus 75. Then plus into minus is minus. So compare the biggest number symbol while comparing 82 and 75. 82 is the biggest symbol, so it is plus. So now we have to subtract 82, 75. So for answer is so we have to borrow the value. The answer will be 7. So Answer is 7. It is plus 7 means we can simply write it as 7. Next to 1, minus 48 plus minus 15. So minus into plus minus, minus into minus plus. Then compare the biggest number symbol. That is 48. We have to write subtraction symbol. So 48 plus 15. That is 13. 1, 5, 6. So minus 63 will be the answer. The next seventh one minus 22 plus minus 63 so minus into plus minus minus into minus plus so comparing the biggest number 225 is the biggest number we have to put the subtraction symbol 
and then we have to subtract it to 20, sorry we have to add it to 25 plus 63 that is 882 so the answer will be 288 now fourth question Thin Muller appeared for competitive exam which has negative scoring of one mark for each incorrect question in paper 1, she answered 25 questions incorrectly and in paper 2, 13 questions incorrectly. Find the total reduction of marks. So, Thane Muller appeared for a competitive exam. In that exam, they have the negative marks that is minus 1 mark for all the incorrect answers. So, in paper 1, Thane Muller, so in paper 1, Incorrect question is so in paper one she answered 25 questions incorrectly means so minus 25 mark in paper one then in paper two so in paper two 13 questions are incorrectly marked so minus 13 so they are asking the total reduction of mark Total reduction of of mark equal to so we have to add it so minus 25 plus minus 13 as usual minus into plus minus minus into minus plus so then equal to so which is the biggest number 25 so 25 is in the list minus then add it 25 plus 13 answer will be 83 so 38 the total reduction marks will be minus 38 marks in a quiz next question fifth one in a quiz competition team a scored plus 30 minus 20 zero and team B scored minus 20, 0 plus 30 in three successive rounds. Which team will run? We can see that we can add integers in any order. So now we can write team A scores. So team A equal to plus 30 minus 20, 0. Then team B scores minus 20 0 plus 30 see we have to add the integers that's all so while comparing these two scores from team a and team b both the scores are same that is here also minus 20 and here also minus 20 here also 0 then here also 0 plus 30 is here plus 30 is here so we can add any team so now first we are going to add team a so plus 30 plus minus 20 plus 0 to convert it so plus 30 means we can simply write it as 30 plus into minus it is minus 20 plus 0 so we have to subtract it compare the biggest value symbol that is plus so write it as plus so 0 we can split it out then we have to see the 30 minus 20 subtract it and see it is 10 so is 10 so a equal to simply we can write it as 10 then we have to find the value for team b so b equal to minus 20 plus 0 plus 30 so split it minus 20 0 we can take it out so plus 30 so now biggest value symbol is plus so 30 minus 20 is 10 so 10 so b equal to 10 so both the teams will be in both the scores of team a and b in same order Next, sixth question are 11 plus 7 plus 10 and 11 plus 7 plus 10 are equal. While seeing this prop 
seeing this number we can come under the conclusion of it is a associative property now take this first side that is 11 plus 7 plus 10 so now we have to add the biggest bracket value that is 11 plus 7 equal to 18 so 18 plus 10 so next we have to add these two number 18 plus 10 equal to 28 value is 28 then we can take these two this uh, number so 11 plus 7 plus 10 equal to we can write the 11 as it is plus 10 7 plus 10 so 17 so answer will be here 17 then down we have to add these two number that is 11 plus 17 equal to 8 2 that is 28 so they are equal under associative property Next, that is seventh question. Now we are going to see seventh question. Find five pairs of integer that add up to two. So we have to get the value two while adding any number. We can write any five pairs. First, we can take two plus zero equal to what? Two. Then second one, zero plus two equal to then third one we can take whatever number we want that is um, for example we can take minus 4 plus 6 equal to just see minus into sorry minus into plus minus so biggest number symbol plus so 4 minus 6 is 2 then fourth one this 1 plus 1 also we can take it that is 2 then fifth pair minus 2 plus 4 for example we can take it as minus 2 plus 4 that is minus into plus minus biggest number symbol is plus so 4 minus 2 2 that's all we have completed exercise 1.1